Today we'll be going over the LED lights and LCD screen on every high boost signal booster. The LED lights on the front indicate the alarm, power, or ISO functionality of the booster. The alarm light should be slowly flashing green. This means that the booster is operating at full output power. If it is solid green, it is still operating, however not at maximum power. If it is quickly flashing green, that means the output power is too high. And if it is flashing red, then it is shutting down because of excessive downlink power. Power LED shows if the power supply is properly supplying power to the booster. Anything other than a steady green light represents an issue with the power supply. The ISO LED indicates if there is self-oscillation or feedback occurring between the booster and the antenna system. A steady green light indicates there is no feedback or oscillation. A slowly flashing green light means that there is a slight oscillation. A quick green flashing light means that there is significant oscillation. If the light is quickly flashing red, that means the booster will automatically shut itself off to prevent severe oscillation. The LCD screen shows a few key points of information to help with installation and troubleshooting. The individual bands that each carrier uses, the uplink and downlink gain, or UL and DL, and the downlink output power, shown in power dBm. On the bottom of the LED are the indicators. The ISO indicator will flash if there is not enough antenna separation. The ALC indicator will flash when there is too much downlink power from the tower and the output is close to saturation. ALC is an indicator that shows what your power dBm should be. If it is over a positive 12, you are receiving too much noise. Therefore, you should move the exterior antenna or decrease the uplink and downlink power. The off indicator will flash when the booster is about to shut itself off to prevent overload. The uplink and downlink gain or UL and DL, shows the real-time uplink and downlink gain in decibels. These values change slightly as the automatic gain control or isometric function changes to optimize coverage. Downlink outlook power shows real-time downlink power, or DBM. This is what the amplifier is delivering to the indoor antenna port. While high boost signal boosters come with automatic gain control, sometimes using the manual gain control function can help optimize your signal solution. Simply hold down the set button until the indicators start flashing, and then press the set button to select the correct setting. After you've selected the correct setting, you can increase or decrease the output power by simply pressing the buttons to the left and right of the set button. For example, if you are receiving an alarm overload issue on the band, simply select that band with the set function and decrease the uplink and downlink power to reduce the power dBm and turn off the alarm function. Conversely, if you are not receiving enough power, simply select the correct band and increase the uplink and downlink power until you're receiving optimal coverage. The two most common solutions to fixing an ISO issue include moving your indoor and outdoor antenna further apart, we recommend at least 20 to 25 feet, or making sure that they are not facing each other. Newer high boost signal boosters have the smart link functionality, allowing users to remotely monitor their devices over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The device is working properly when these show green. That's how you use the LCD screen or LED lights to troubleshoot your high boost signal booster. If you have any further questions, give our customer service hotline a call at 972-870-5666.